Testing one, two, and three. My goodness. This is like the fourth time that I'm trying to record this video. Testing one, two, three, people, please. Can this work now? Oh my goodness, I've been trying to upload this video like five times. This is the fifth time. Fifth. Everything is going wrong. Phone, no, now you're on my tablet. Lighting, I have no idea, so it's a little bit dark. But I'll get in the camera so that you can see. You like the ambiance? Mm, I'm enjoying it. Happy Super Bowl Sunday, everyone. Are you happy? I'm happy. I'm cooking. I have stuff in the oven, which I, I should check in a minute because now it's going to burn. So I may have to in between this video or something like that. But anyway, I needed to show you my January empties. Oh, by the way, my name is Uma and welcome back to my channel. For all you new people, welcome to the family because I know I have a few. Welcome to the family and thank you. Thank you. So this is what I usually do every month. I have an empties video, right? So this is January stuff, but this should have been called January's candle empties video. Mm -hmm. Because the majority of stuff that I have here are empty candles, people. I have a problem. Yeah. So you all know that I usually purchase the majority of my candles from Bath and Body Works, but if not, I'll purchase them from Marshalls or I'll purchase them from Kohl's or, you know, now Grove. I'm purchasing candles from Grove, so I'm, I'm kind of liking those, especially one in particular, and I'm going to show you that in a minute. But let me show you what I've gotten from what I've used up from um, BBW in January. And people, I burn my candles. I buy them. I burn them because I love coming home from work lighting my candles, and unwinding. On the weekends, I love cleaning the house, lighting my candles, and enjoying. I just love burning candles. And I'll burn oils and wax melts as well too. But And I have an empties on my wax melt. But let's dive into the BBW. Um, this is what I burned for the month of January. This was winter. And y'all see that? Winter. Winter smells really nice. Nice and woodsy. It's a nice, crisp, woodsy scent. Love winter. And I would definitely repurchase this again. Um, I also purchased <clears throat> Vanilla Snowflake. Loved the packaging. I absolutely love that packaging. And I think that's what really got me because I'm not crazy. I'm not big on vanilla scented candles. I love the vanilla scent, but... Look at this cover though. Isn't this cover darling? I love the covers and if you know me, you know that I will keep my covers so that I can, you know, use them for the seasons and I'll just swap them out on any of my candles. But would I purchase this one again? No, not really because it didn't give me, you know, that mm, wow factor. It really didn't. So, nah, not a repurchase. The next one is buttered, hot buttered rum. That was nice. It was really nice in the kitchen. I like that. It smelled like um, buttered pecan, like the ice cream. That was really nice. And I would probably purchase that one again. And I love that packaging. Isn't that pretty? Look at that. That is so pretty. And it went well in my kitchen too because I like, you know, copper. My One of my all-time favorites, Twisted Peppermint. And I love this. I love this in the body lotion. I love this in the um, body wash. I even love this in the body spray that I also love using during the summer months because this and this candle is really strong and it smells like peppermint. So if you're not crazy about that scent, you're not going to like this candle, but this, it engulfed the entire home. It looked, it smelled like you were walking into a peppermint patch, if that exists. Well, I don't know, but it would be nice if it did, and I need to be there. But anyway, I'm going off topic. Love it. Um, another candle that I purchased, but that that's the end of BBW. This was from TJ Maxx, and this is from the Sonoma. 
line and this was in weathered woods absolutely love this candle if i come across it and i will i will definitely repurchase it again i loved it and i love the woodsy um scents um excuse me anything patchouli anything woodsy i tend to always purchase those this candle if you come across it and you like those scents mm -hmm. really nice candle now this candle i was really sad when it ended <laughs> really i didn't want this candle to end and actually this candle was gifted to me for Christmas um, it was just it's beautiful if that's possible to me the jar the packaging was beautiful look at if you can see I don't know because it's kind of um, it's a it's a wooden lid let me show you the lid and it's from WW it's a wooden lid. It is absolutely gorgeous. And this was in the scent, of course, teak wood. And it's a really heavy jar. Really heavy jar. And it was, um, it's like a crack, one of the crackling candles. So you hear it. Oh my goodness. I enjoyed this candle. I really did. And I'm going to keep the jar because I'm just going to clean it out. And I'm going to keep the jar for something else. Because this jar is absolutely beautiful it's really heavy and this can serve as anything with this lid candy jar anything so I really enjoyed that candle now the candle that I really um, that I also really enjoyed is from Grove and I'm, I'm finding myself purchasing more candles from Grove collaborate collaborate mm, too much coffee not enough coffee I don't know but I know that I'm hungry and we need to get this done because Super Bowl honey um from Grove, and it's from their line, um, the pomegranate and red currant. This smells divine. This candle was everything. And I am going to, and the only thing that I'm not too crazy about is that it's a little on the pricey side for this size of a candle. So every now and then I will probably treat myself and add it to my bag when I do receive my Grove um, every month. Every now and then, because it's a, I think it's about 14 bucks for this little, I think, right? 12 or 14 bucks for this small candle. But I burnt this in my bedroom. And let me tell you something. It's, it's floral. It has that nice floral, clean scent. I really enjoy this. And I think that I'm going to start um, looking into um, purchasing their dish soap in, um, in this line. And all the other products, because I really love... I really love, and I'm not a floral kind of girl, but I really loved this scent. I did. The other um, Grove candle that I usually purchase is their regular Mrs. Myers uh, candle, and this was in the scent Lavender, and I usually like burning that in the bedroom too because it's very calm, calming. Now, what I didn't like and I don't like about these candles is that it leaves behind so much wax. You see all that wax? To me, that's a lot. It may not be to you, but to me, that's a lot of wax. So what I will do is remelt this, right, in a pot with some hot water or even on the stove. And I should have done that now because I have my stove on. But um, I will remelt it and then as it cools a little, I'll scoop it out, put it in a Ziploc bag, and, and I'll use these in my warmers. Yes, I will. Um, because it's a waste. And that smells really nice. Now... What I usually like buying from Walmart, because I'm not crazy about their candles, but I do purchase their um, wax melts. Wax melts. Oh my goodness. I need to eat. Um, are the cinnamon stick scented wax melts. These are my favorite. I love that scent, and I love burning that scent in the kitchen. I have two wax warmers in the kitchen. Mm -hmm. I know I'm crazy. And I love burning cinnamon anything that smells sweet like you know baked goods whatever cookie dough whatever and I always find myself purchasing these and you get six little cubes in a in a little box but in a container but I like the price the price is about three or four bucks so I really like that now that's it for the candles um now for some body care um this I have been really liking uh, and this is the L'Oreal blowout this is a thermal soother cream now, I don't know if I've mentioned it before. I'm pretty sure I have mentioned this before on my channel. But um, 
I discovered this product from watching another YouTuber. Her name is Angie, and the name of her channel is Angie in Wonderland. And she has an entire uh, hair routine where she uses baby Johnson & Johnson's baby detangle, hair detangler. So after washing her hair, she'll use that. And then she'll put some of this on, like the ends of her hair, or maybe all of her hair. I know I put it in all of my hair. And then there's also a pump um, that's like a, um, I forgot what you call it exactly, but it's from the same line. Um, it's the L'Oreal. Um, and it's like, um, it, it protects, it protects the hair from blow drying. So she'll put those three products on and blow. And let me tell you, I have tried all three, just like she, and it really helps. It really does help your hair, especially when you have um, dyed hair. You, you, you need to protect your hair, which, by the way, I'm getting really black on top because that is the natural color of my hair. I'm not liking it, and I need to get this hair did. But um, so that I will always, I, I think I will always purchase this unless I find something else that is absolutely amazing and can replace this. But until then, yeah. Um, the next product is and this uh, body lotion. Well, it's a body and hand lotion. And this is full. And the only reason why I'm showing is this full is because I have another one, but I left it at work that is completely empty. And I'm glad that I found this on Amazon because this, um, from Dream Dream, and this is the Olive Oil Moisturizing Lotion. This was purchased to me. No, this was gifted to me. I'm sorry. I'm like, I'm thinking my head is somewhere else. I'm sorry. This was gifted to me by the people that do my, you know, my manicurist. When I get my nails done, this is a lotion that they put on your hands when you're done. And then a nice little hot towel. So divine. But, you know, and I've always liked the scent because it's a nice, clean, I can't even describe, um, it doesn't smell like olive oil, but it smells, you know, like um, minty and earthy. It, it's, it is just so I don't even know the word it's really nice pleasing it's so comforting and it's so um it's such a clean scent you know so I found it on Amazon I, I purchased the big bottle and this you know small you know pocket size or whatever you want to call this um and I'll throw this one in my in my bag so now that I know that they have it on Amazon loving it I will always purchase this because it is really moisturizing not greasy but really moisturizing and when you put it on you can feel it going into your hands so if you like nice and clean and you need some moisture in your life honey find this on Amazon I am not sponsored by the way Amazon should sponsor me but I am not everything here was purchased with my own coins yes my own Okay, so that is really nice. And I think for both, for the big, it's a big pump. Um, and this one, it was about 10 bucks. So that's not bad. Loving it. Um, oh, I have some BBW body sprays. Sorry, honey. This was Autumn Nights. Love this scent. Loved it. I've never tried it before. This scent is really nice. Um, it's like a... Um, I can't even, doesn't have the notes, but I liked it. Nice, clean scent with a little hint of uh, musk. Loved it. This is the all-time favorite, Sweater Weather. I know you guys all heard about that because their, their candle is really popular, but um, it's close to the candle scent, but it's, it's nice. It's really soft. It's a nice, soft musk scent. Love that Sweater Weather. I figured I like the candle. Why don't I give the body spray a try? And I liked it. And I will probably be repurchasing both of them. So, the next item is, um, let's go into some makeup. So, I purchased this concealer, and this is from Smashbox. And I am in the color medium dark, or dark medium, medium dark, medium dark. This concealer is amazing. I just need to tell you that. Uh, you need to find your own shade, and if you're looking for a good concealer at a very good price, Smashbox. This is their Studio Skin 24 Hours. This will stay on, well, I don't know about 24 hours, but 8, 9, 10 good hours, because 
from the time that I go to work and come back 10 good hours, this stuff is still on. This stuff is amazing. It really is. So you need to try it if you're looking for a good concealer. And I usually apply my concealers with a brush. So just in case you wanted to know, I don't use one of those sponges. Um, I, I'm not sure on how to work it well enough to become a, you know, I'm not a pro at the sponge. It's not working for me, so I'm still using a brush, but that works, and it works really well. So when I ran out of this Smashbox, I went and purchased this because I needed a concealer. Um, and this was the Fit Me, and this is in the color 30. Don't like it. Mm -mm. Did not like it. First of all, it was a little on the dark side, but that may have been my fault. Um, but it did not last, so I will never be repurchasing Fit Me. Now, now, their foundation, on the other hand, is very good. But the concealer, mmm, 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 mmm. I will be sticking to my studio, Smashbox. Um, e.l.f. for, uh, the, the, um, mist and face setting spray, e.l.f., it's pretty good. And the only reason why I always gear towards e.l.f. is because I can always find it at a Walgreens or at a Rite Aid if I run out. Now, you see this bottle is not that big, so I run out pretty quickly because I spray my brushes, then apply, and then when I'm done with all of my makeup, I will spray my face. So I kind of run out of these babies quite rapidly. <laughs> so, but I like that it's, you know, it's convenient that I can just find them at any drugstore. Um, the price is okay as well, and it works, it works decent, it works pretty well. Now, I've used, you know, all the upper, uh, what's the word, uh, um, can't think of it now, but, you know, the more expensive, um, types of setting sprays, and this one is okay compared to those, it's alright. It, it will do. Okay, and then, I think this is the last. Oh no, I need to, I need to talk about this. <laughs> it's not the last. Now, in one of my videos, and maybe I'll link it, I, I don't know, but it's in one of my Ipsy videos. I received this, and I got a lot of comments, because I didn't know what the heck this was when I did receive it. And this was the Brazilian Bum Bum Cream. Okay, now, this is really really big and and I didn't know how popular this bum bum cream was but you know I see it all over Instagram now and and you know Facebook and and YouTubers talk about this bum bum cream well I use this bum bum cream on my hands and apparently you can use it anywhere you want on your body so I learned that you know by watching some videos um what I do like about this is the smell the scent of this is so good so good it smells like um like vanilla souffle or suntan lotion no coconut like a coconut souffle that's what this bum bum cream smells like and it's very moisturizing i just use it on my hands because you know i wasn't gonna try to use bum bum cream on my face or in, and this little tube wasn't enough for my body but um i did like this um, I will not be repurchasing this. No, well, I will not be purchasing this because I received this in, in an Ipsy bag. But um, it was a nice treat. Bum bum cream. Mm. Um, and then last but not least, this is from my baby Chase. He uses his Ultra Gentle. And these are for all the mommies that watch my channel. Cetaphil for babies. Awesome. Wait, is this a baby's one? Yeah, I think she used this for him. Ultra Gentle Refreshing Body Wash. Oh, no. Sorry, honey. This is not. No, this was for Baby Chase. You know why? I get this line mixed up with one of his lines. But this is the, I'm sorry. This is the Cetaphil. Oh, I think we use this. Yeah. We go through body wash like it's nobody's business in, the, in this house. This is the Ultra Gentle Refreshing Body Wash. And this smells really nice. It has a really nice clean scent. And I love the line Cetaphil. Um, but I'm liking more the line CeraVe um, because it has the, what is it, hydrolonic acid that us ladies need when they reach our ages. And that really helps. It helps with fine lines. Um, it helps with um, 
um, you know, spots and stuff like that. So I've really been liking the CeraVe. CeraVe, that's how you pronounce it. Um, so that's what I'm using now. But I think this concludes my empties video. If you like these types of videos, guys, give this a thumbs up if you like this video. All right. Don't forget to hit that little uh, notification button. Um, and I see you guys in the next one. Enjoy your Super Bowl if you are watching it. If you are going out, please be careful. Please, 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 please drive safely. Okay. Don't forget to buckle up because it's the law, but... Don't forget to buckle up anyway. And um, enjoy yourself and have a good time. All right? I see you guys in the next one. Take care.